welcome welcome back to my channel my friends call me Eddie and I hope you are having an awesome day today I want to show you how I create or do custom sleeves and pocket pages it's actually a pretty cool and easy project to do and so I hope you'll be able to use that as well in your collection collection binders and so I guess let's just hop to it okay so to start off you need an adequate space like this one to do your project. Now, when I'm not filming, this desk is actually covered by this mat because I do try and prevent it from any type of disaster or calamity, um, namely the, me. <laughs> so if you have a tendency to be very clumsy and messy, make sure that you protect your desk or your working area. Next, we will be talking about are the supplies. The list of supplies as well as links will be in the description below. One of the first things that you're going to need is a ruler, a ruler like this. Preferably, you have a ruler that is a metal or something that will not burn or melt when you put a hot tool next to it. Okay, I do know that you can melt plastic rulers, so don't use one of those. Most of the metal rulers now have a cork in it and just for slippage purposes, but definitely a metal ruler like this. Another thing that you're going to need, and this is important, is washi tape. Washi tape to tape down your project. And then you might also need maybe some cutter or a um, scissors to cut some stuff or and or, you know, a cutter like this. This is my baby cutter. I do have a bigger one for bigger projects. Since today, we're just going to be using this for smaller projects. One important thing that you're also going to need is this one. And this is the fusing tool. This fusing tool is from We Are Memory Keepers. I did buy this at Amazon. When you open it, this is the tool itself. As you can see, okay, it does have a not so long cord. Okay, so make sure you have a power source nearby. Right. Then you have two different tips, and this is the point tip. You can make straight lines with this, okay? And you can also do straight cuts, actually cut sleeves, okay, right there, okay? And the other tip is this, and it's a roller type tip, and it uh, creates the dotted line look that you normally see in your pocket pages. Let me show you. See the pocket pages? See the roller right there, the dotted line? So that's the one that mimics this. But this particular one actually is um, meaning it's a tighter, so there's a lot more dots than you've seen in the pocket page that I just showed you. Next, you're going to see here is this guy, and this guy is actually a stand where you can put your hot tool. So you just lay your hot tool down like so, okay, like this. Whoa. But I don't use that or I don't even recommend using that because it's very, very light and it's easily um, movable and slippage could occur and you don't want to burn any part of your project or yourself so i don't actually use that what i do use is a cup like this a tall enough cup that when i just dump this it doesn't tip over as well okay so just a quick tip there is a metal ruler here but i don't use this because this metal ru ruler is a little bit on the shorter side my projects I usually like to use the um, longer um, metal, but you can use it. And this particular one actually has a slot in it where you can put your tool in. Okay, so I don't normally use that or need it that way. All right, so this is your fusing tool. And let me show you the last thing that you're going to need. And that is a glass mat like this the reason that um, I recommend getting a glass mat is because again this is a hot tool it will burn through plastic I have mats that are plastic like this black mat is plastic I you know do not want to destroy this mat therefore I do not want you to use any plastic type mats most of the mats out there are plastic so you can get a smaller version of this glass mat 
my version is a little bit bigger because I do like to put multiple things on the glass mat as I work. And you will see that later when we go through the projects. Alrighty, so let's get started with our project. Okay, so for our first project, we are going to be making a custom sleeve for RM's photo folio bookmarks, which is this one right here. So first off, we are going to need a sleeve and the sleeve I'm going to be using is a 70 by 120. And it's going to be this one right here. And the first thing I try and do is actually to fill for which one's the front and the back. Front and the back. So this is the front and this is the back side, okay? So then what I do is I'm going to just insert this here just to see exactly how my project's going to look. And I think this is actually perfect. Can you see that? Okay, perfect. And so I'm gonna lay it down on this. This is the front, this is the back. Always, 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 always put the front into the glass, into the mat. So most of the time I just try and eyeball. So it looks like I'm going to be using these two grid lines right here, these two main grid lines right here, okay? You can also move it to center it because this is the center. But now I know what I need to do. I'm going to remove this. Okay. And then I'm going to tape my project into the grid. And the reason I like to tape my project is because I don't want it to move. Again, feel for the front and feel for the back. This is the back because you could, I could feel the difference. And how do you know the difference? Well, when you feel the edge of the sleeve, you can actually feel softer, smoother in the area, whereas in the back side, you will feel a rougher edge and or you will actually feel the edge. Okay, so I place this here and I hope you can see that. Okay, that's the middle. And again, I just eyeball it. So it's like one, two, three, four, five, and middle. So this is my middle. Next, I'm going to then use my ruler. Make sure that the metal side is at the bottom. The reason being is because you see the cork, it lifts up the metal. I do not like the metal to be lifted because my tool could go inside that gap. Okay, And then this is the tool. It's hot. I know it is. And then you just go ahead and make your line. I do start from the top. I don't go directly into the sleeve because I, I want to make sure I have a running, what we call a running uh, start. And you can feel, okay, that you've made um, already, you know, a line. I like to do it twice, but don't do it too hard that you're actually going to cut the sleeve into two. Let's see what it looks like. See what I've created. See that line? Okay. I'm going to put this here. And if you're doing this, you will feel, okay, the rough edge on the back side, okay? And you will feel a much smoother edge on the front side. And that's why I wanted you to turn the sleeve around. Okay. Whoa, I'm having difficulties here. Okay. See, perfect fit, perfect fit. And now I need to just trim this. And we're good to go. My little inky dinky trimmer. And try not to put, if you're not used to cutting, uh, do not put your photo cards into a trimmer. But since I've been doing this for a while, I am okay with it. But I highly recommend that you do not put the photo card into the trimmer. Okay, here you go. Here's our first project. 
trying to make a straight line okay so the way I made this bookmark is actually the same way I actually made all of these proof ones as you can tell they're the same way that I make them and they look pretty good you can now put them in their sleeves or in the pockets with no problems whatsoever I see that and they're all the same way of doing it so I hope that's um, been helpful for you in terms of making this type of sleeves for our next project I actually want to do is to put these guys this is the BTS cinema membership and I can't remember which membership year this is but I'll put it right here okay. so first thing I do is find an actual sleeve that will fit for this one I'm going to be using a 90 by 140 because that's how they fit and again I'll feel for the front smoother edge here and then the back I'm just going to put all of these pieces in here actually postcards or bookmarks or tickets oh, whatever you think this is okay um, as you can tell I have to cut a lot of these right here this is what I want to cut okay so I'm just going to put all of them in and then I'll come back so here are all the cards in their sleeves now I'm going to go ahead and figure out how much cutting I'm going to do and when I'm doing this I actually try and put the cut on a line on one of the grid lines As you can see this is the reason why I like to have a big or a larger glass mat is because I like to be able to put several cards on the hand all at once and again I just like to just eyeball the things although I probably shouldn't but I do see this see these right here those are the lines that's where I'm going to be um, doing the lines that's where's my cut line and that's why I put them or tape them this way okay now I want to cut the whole entire sleeve I want to remove this part so I'm gonna need to put a little bit more pressure okay on it and you can feel if you're cutting okay you have to have equal pressure and you might want to try and do it again as you can see that are done do the same thing here cut line again I start not right on the sleeve itself but I gave it a running color like a running start then one more time just to make sure I cut it all because you could tell if you did or did not pull there so if you're doing a lot of of these it's nice to have a really larger mat There you go. Can you see the cut? See, like little pieces like this. You can actually take your scissors and then just cut it. Voila, it looks great. I made my very own sleeve. Okay.
just certain trim areas but look at that very nice okay but here's the thing i'll show you is that i do not like my trim cuts on this side i like it on this side and that's why um because when i put it in the, the sleeve most of the people will have a tendency to see what's here if you're putting your uh, cards on this side okay but if you're putting your cards actually on this side of on the left side of your um, binders and stuff you will have a tendency to notice the cuts there okay so the way that I um, put my cards is that I want the cut to be on this side because my cards are usually put this way so makes sense I hope so anyway here are three cards I mean four cards done very quickly and let me do the others I'll actually spare you one because I want to show you something different in a little bit Yay. So, made sleeves. Custom made sleeves. Okay, I hope that's been helpful for you. Um, this is how I make my custom sleeves. Now, how about we make a custom pocket? Okay, for this next project, I am going to actually make a custom made page. And I am going to use the rolling tip this time around. So I went ahead and changed that. So that's the rolling tip. Because I want to mimic, again, the line that looks like the dotted line on the pages. So first thing I'm going to do is show you the reason why I'm going to do this. This is the uh, photo cards that were I just put in my binder. I did put it in a second sleeve. The second sleeve fits right into the pocket page like so but even then the photo cards continue to slide because they are not stuck in there very snugly so my next thing to do is i could either make this sleeve right here customized it to fit and then just stick it back into the pocket page or I can actually fix the pocket page. So since I'm going to be teaching you how to do customized things, this is the sample I'm going to be doing for the pocket pages. So like anything else, I have all the photo cards in here. The, the way I'm going to do this is of course, flip it to the, again, back side. I want the front into the mat and then I'm going to find the center of this and it just so happens that the two lines see these two dotted lines is this actually fits into the two lines right there in the grid so I'm going to secure it here and I'm going to secure it on the top and then I'm going to move all of the photo cards to try and see where I'm going to create my new pocket page and it doesn't seem like i'm going to be able to do it on a line as you can tell here and not even here as well i now i'm going to eyeball where i'm going to make that line and i think it's going to be on halfway between one grid line square you could tell that i'm going to go halfway and this is all eyeballing okay so our hot tool is ready I have the pocket page secured already on my mat and it's again the back side is facing me the front side is facing the mat I have my ruler and I have it secured and I know that I want to do is actually going to eyeball this okay and one other thing please 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 do not have any of the photo cards in the pocket pages while you're doing this especially a proof collector's edition and especially the macne line i just have on right now the reason i have them on right now is because it's easier for you to see 
what I'm doing. Okay, so I am going to do this and hopefully not have any disaster happen. And I'm really literally just eyeballing. Okay, okay. let's right. make sure you're comfortable. Sometimes I have difficulty because of the cord. I just gotta find a comfort. And I start again, top. And this is slow but steady. Don't have to have anything perfect. If it does not roll, you're going to have a straight line. It looks funky and I will show you how funky it is because I just had a couple of them. As you can see, I would lift and come back. Okay. Then to the next one. Again, I'm just eyeballing and try my darndest not to burn off my photo cards because that would really suck okay it is done let's see what it looks like and here you go can you see that maybe not right there okay right there okay and then i do want to actually move this up a little See that? That? Okay. Okay. So here is now my custom page, and it looks great being centered like that. And it's going to be put on my binder. So today I've taught you how to make a line without cutting like so i've also taught you to make your custom sleeve like so i hope that you've learned um how to make custom sleeves and pages and that this has been quite helpful for you but i wanted to also show you an alternative you may know i sometimes um try and do alternative type stuff if you do not have a mat like so we can probably use something of a, um, a frame that has some kind of, that looks like a glass like this. And so I'm gonna take this out and then I'm gonna come back and show you how I would use this. Okay, so I removed the glass from the frame and in all honesty, <laughs> I've never done this before. So I'm just making this up as I go along. I'm putting this, you know, blue painter's tape because really when you're working with glass, you really probably need to protect yourself because you never know um, how sharp the edges are on a frame because you know they're on a frame they shouldn't be used for the particular reason that I'm using it for for safety reasons oh you know make sure that you do something like this if you are going to be doing that and I'm just using the blue painters tape because it's removable like anything else it's easy and pe most people have this and then what I do is do this and do this. Okay. I printed out a grid from online and just, voila, <laughs> a glass cutting mat out of a frame from maybe you could find around the house or something. Okay, and then let's try and see if this will work. Okay, so let me just fix this here. Like I did the last time, I'm going to 
put this here and I'm gonna go. I think the grid lines are pretty much the same. Yep. Okay. So another reason why I put this blue tape here is because, well, I've never done this before. And so, like I said, I'm just making it up as I go along. If it so happens that the glass shatters, <laughs> you have protection, you have safety because it's going to keep the glass at least a little bit more intact. And if it does shatter, you won't be seeing this footage because then I would have made a fool of myself. But... <laughs> We're going to give it a try and um, you're going to witness a first for me. Okay. And I think this is hot enough. Okay. Here we go. Theoretically, this was, this looked good when I was thinking about it, but you know, Realistically, it's a whole different story. But I don't think my tool is hot enough. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Oh my god! It worked! Ta da! Okay, so I guess you can use it. And I don't see any scratches in the glass, and the glass is still intact. So, oh, it works. <laughs> and I think, um, yeah, I don't know. I should stop uh, doing things like this <laughs> anyway. Okay, so you've just seen a video on how I create or how I make my custom sleeves and pocket pages. I hope this has been helpful for you and that you'll be able to use it as well in your collection binders and in anything that you do craft-wise. If you like this type of video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to see you next time. Bye! Custom pages. I wonder what I could make for this. Hmm.